I'm right now, though, we're joined by Nick Bontis from the DeGroote School of Business. He's here to talk about this week's news and uh, business news, of course. But we're going to start with not necessarily a business story, but kind of a branding story. And, of course, we're talking about the brand of the City of Toronto and Rob Ford and this whole crack fiasco and what's happening there. Is the brand of Toronto, maybe Rob Ford's brand may be harmed, but what about the City of Toronto? Is it harmed by this? You know, there is collateral damage here mm -hmm. because uh, they're synonymous and we've heard through the news and we've heard through uh, late night talk shows that people are making fun of the mayor and Toronto is associated with the mayor. You know, when it comes to crisis management, crisis management 101 is you got to get ahead of the story. It's got to come out early. Him coming out today, almost a week later, doesn't really make sense, doesn't lend credibility to the story. Frankly, if there was a video of me doing something Thing I wasn't supposed to be doing and I knew it was fake, I'd be out there day one right that second, Nick. So I think there is a little bit of collateral damage for the city. It did seem to take a long time. Eight days is a long time to say. Yeah. And again, the denial may not even be necessarily the strongest denial That's that it right. could have come out with. So we'll see where this, of course, goes. Let's move mm -hmm. on to another topic now. BlackBerry is now going to be integrating its BBM, which everybody loves if you have a BlackBerry, mm -hmm. with Android and with iPhones. Right. Is, this a, is this a smart strategy long term for BlackBerry? Smart and huge strategy for BlackBerry. Very, very excited about this. They should have done this three, four years ago. We know there are 60 million plus BlackBerry users still out there that love their BBM and those who have migrated over to iPhone or Samsung or Android wish they had the BBM. But here's the magic in this strategy, Nick. With BBM all over the world, it's going to go from 60 million subscribers to hundreds and hundreds of million subscribers and then BlackBerry will monetize it, which means I will take my BlackBerry, you will cut my grass, Nick, and I will say, here's 10 bucks, Nick, because I'm cheap. And then you'll take that $10 on your BlackBerry and you'll go to the parking meter. You'll swipe your QR code from your BBM. You'll go into a bar, grab a drink with the remaining amount of money. Mm -hmm. We will be transacting with each other money through BBM. Great strategy for BlackBerry. 10 bucks. I used to get 10 bucks when I was 12 years old to cut a lawn. Uh, <laughs> let's move on here. It doesn't cost 10 bucks to go to Disney, but they're oh. going to be open around the clock starting this weekend for Memorial Day. Is this a good strategy in Orlando? And should they sort of maybe open more full days like this? Another great strategy. Yeah. That's two for two today. <laughs> you know, I was uh, in Orlando earlier this year with my kids. And, you know, the one thing I hate about the Magic Kingdom and all those theme parks, the lineups are just too gargantuan all day, every day. I mean, when you're standing in line for an hour just to hit a ride, then nobody's having fun. So if they can do it at night when it's still hot, obviously it's not so uh, amenable to the little kids, but at least for teenagers or higher, you know, I think this is a great strategy for the people at Disney. And frankly, they've done this once before, Nick, and it was so popular, it was actually more crowded at night than it was during an average day. Well, you're <laughs> right. I mean, when you talk about the heat down in Orlando, yeah. and of course, it could be so hot standing in those lines, yeah. you're just fanning yourself and looking for some relief. Sure. So, hey, if they could uh, get some people in there at night, not a bad idea. And maybe a little extra thrill as well. A little extra thrill with a roller coaster at night. Mm -hmm. I love that idea. Yeah. And some extra cash and revenue for Disney, of course. Uh, yeah, and that's, of course, what they're <laughs> looking for. Nick, thanks for your insight. We really appreciate right. this. Let's